Hey guys, welcome to LA Love Creative. Today we're talking about cool gadgets and tech gifts that you can get for under $200. If you haven't, make sure you hit the bell so you can stay notified when we post new videos. Now I know the holidays are coming up and we've already had Black Friday deals and a lot of deals are going on right now that you can get when it comes to tech and gadgets. And in this video, I kind of just wanted to break down some things I picked up recently and some things that I think you can get for your friends or you know buy for yourself if you're a filmmaker or a photographer all the products i've mentioned in this video will be linked in the description below now one of the things that i'm a big fan of as a canon shooter is canon has a rf to ef um, nd filter adapter and i love it it's awesome it's really cool to be able to put your canon lenses um, your canon ef lenses on a rf canon body and have a ND filter built in. Now, the problem with the Canon ND filter that I love to use, the Canon adapter, is it's $400. But I'm really glad that Micah, or Mikey, has finally actually done a adapter that is basically the Canon EF to RF ND filter adapter, but much cheaper. The Micah adapter is about $150 why the Canon adapter is about $400. Now it probably isn't the same image quality and fidelity as the Canon ND filter um, version, but I'm gonna be honest for $150, I'm willing to take that risk and use it on professional projects. And I'm just really excited that Micah, Mikey, um, has made a, a cheaper version of this adapter. A bonus gift that you can get your photographer, you know, boyfriend, friend or whatever, is a Canon film photography camera. Now you can get a Canon rangefinder type camera. Um, you can get all types of different Canon film cameras, but I'm finding that I'm kind of gravitating towards um, film cameras that I can still use the lenses that I use right now. So I got this Canon EOS Rebel S. It's probably not the best Canon film camera out there. It costs about 40 bucks, um, but I was a big fan of the fact that I can put my EF lenses on this camera. It's electronic, it has autofocus, it has a lot of the bells and whistles that you would be used to with a hybrid or a DSLR camera. So I'm really excited to use this film camera. And I think if you're buying a gift for a photographer, you should get them something that they can use their current lenses, their current Canon lenses on and still get that film look. Another awesome gift if you're looking for some portable light stands that you can travel around with that are really compact. Maybe you want to put them in a small little hard case. I would suggest these light stands from Ben S N Photo. I don't know how to say the name, but these light stands are really lightweight. I like to use them with small lights like the Amaran 60X. Um, nothing too heavy, but I like the fact that they're compact easy to travel with and lightweight and they're just really high quality light stands i definitely suggest these if you need a small light stand i bought a few of them and i definitely suggest you should get some too speaking of light i did a review on the channel recently about the amaran 60x if you're trying to buy a light for a inspiring videographer someone who wants to do youtube content i definitely suggest the amaran 60x it's bicolor it's got a lot of output it's lightweight, it can go off, run off of Sony batteries and V-mount batteries. Honestly, you can't go wrong with a light like this. Now, the next product I wanna talk about is something I kinda jerry-rigged myself. I wanted a portable uh, monitor, something that was bigger than my Canon C70 monitor. So what I did is I actually bought this 1080p 15-inch um, monitor. It has great color fidelity. It's not super professional, but I love the image that comes out of this monitor. I have it on a Ulanzi stand, which is a like iPad monitor stand. And I have it on one of these little small light stands that I was talking about. And I also have it powered with a anchor battery pack. It's just a really cool 15 inch monitor. And I definitely suggest you get something like this, especially for a YouTube setup where you don't really have to move it around too much and you don't really need that many specs. Another cool product I got was this Fomimo portable label maker. I love labeling, uh, you know, equipment, hard drives, bags, certain things like that. So I found this little label maker. It's about $40. It connects to your iPhone or, you know, Android phone. So I thought having a label maker that is stylish and lightweight and 
can pair with your phone is a no-brainer for photographers. Once you start piling up hard drives and you need to organize stuff, a label maker is something that you should definitely look into. Another cool product if you have a Canon C70 is this base plate that Small Rig sells. It's awesome. The C70 has kind of like weird threads at the bottom and it's kind of awkward when you want to mount something or mount it to a tripod. So Small Rig kind of fixed that with this base plate. And not only that, it's lightweight. I keep it on my camera pretty much all the time. It has this little cool tool that's, that's magnetized that you can basically use to tighten the camera onto a tripod or tighten other things. I think it's just an awesome accessory if you have a Canon C70, and I definitely think you should consider one. So that's all I have to say about cool tech ideas that you can get for photographers or videographers. If you have any questions about any of the things I talked about, put it in the comments below, and I will see you next time. See you later.